Hi everyone, this is Anjali Patak and welcome to my channel. In this video, we will again go through more practice questions for Tableau Desktop Specialist exam. So let's start. So first question is when you drop a continuous field on color, Tableau displays a quantitative legend with a dash range of colors. So definitely mix cannot be the answer. Uh, fading always uh, cannot be an answer. Discrete and continuous, these two can be the possible answers. If you have practiced this thing on Tableau, so something it will look like this, where if you drop a continuous field, it will look like this. The legend for color will look like this. This is nothing but a continuous legend, right? So, and this is from Tableau website, quantitative palettes. So when you drop a field with continuous values on the marks cards, typically you measure, Tableau displays a quantitative legend with a continuous range of colors. So obviously this will be the answer. And if you want to get uh, more information on this, you can always uh, go on Tableau help and you can search this option color palettes and uh, effects. Okay. You will get uh, how to basically create a palette, quantitative palette, discrete palette. Okay. So all those information you can find here. Okay. So just search color palettes and effects. So you just added this field to the columns shelf. Okay. Uh, just remember that this is a column shelf. Okay. What will this create? You have not added anything else. You just added this field profit profit field to the column shelf. Let me again uh, show you something. So when you drop profit or a measure field basically to column shelf, this is the view you get. And if you uh, drop profit field or maybe any measure field in rows, you get this view. So right now they are asking for the columns. So this is the columns. So basically you get a horizontal axis. This is a horizontal axis, right? So first A will be the answer. Then which of the following represent a valid method to create a bullet graph with the least number of fields possible. Now if you go and show me, okay, and uh, click here on bullet graphs, then you can clearly see the option for bullet graphs, try zero or more dimensions and two measures. So basically the minimum requirement is the two measures. So that will be the first option A using two measures. Then we can join a maximum of how many tables in Tableau. So this is uh, something which we all know when we start learning Tableau. It is the number 32. So C32 is the answer. Now, which of the following chart type makes use of bin the data? Now, if you have practiced really well in Tableau, you would know the answer of this question. Whenever it is uh, asking about bins, it has to be histograms, right? And if you see the basic building blocks for a histogram, so mark time automatic, row shelf, continuous measure, column shell, it has to be a bin. So that is why we talk about bin data. So histogram is the answer. Then true or false, it is not possible to blend axis for multiple measures into a single axis. Now this is absolutely false. Okay. We can very much blend multiple measures into a single axis. Such charts are called as combined axis or blended axis charts. I made one video also on this. You can check it out. I leave the link in the description. So this is false. And if you want to create these charts, you can always come here and search add axis for multiple measures in views. Okay. Then which of the following are stored in a dot TDS file? Okay. You have to choose three among these. So I'll again walk you through uh, the Tableau information. So you can save a data source to either of the following formats. When we talk about .tds format, it will contain only the information you need to connect to the data source, including the following data source type, connection information, group sets, calculated fields, default field properties. Okay. So. Uh, basically, it will have data connection information, calculated field and metadata edits. But what it will not have is data extracts and visualization. These two things will not come here. So this will be the answer and these will be stored in the .tds file. 
then eighth question which of the following are valid objects when creating a dashboard in tableau choose four so for this i'll just uh, show you that whenever you come to dashboard you see these objects which can be utilized right so here if you see we see a web page we see an image we see text we see extension but there is no video option here right so video will not be the valid object others will be valid objects so these four are the valid objects and they are the answer now the last question is dash enables us to create workbooks and views dashboards and data sources in tableau desktop and then publish this content to our own server now uh, pay attention to this word our own server now when we talk about tableau public it is not our own server so we cannot publish on that tableau prep is just used to uh, clean and transform the data it is not used to publish it on our own server tableau reader is just to you know open the tableau workbooks which you get from some other user it is not used to publish this content so the only option left is the tableau server so that is the answer and if you want to read about this so you have this link introduction to tableau server i will leave this link in the description you can read it that's it thank you for watching this video guys and uh, do like this video and subscribe to this my channel to remain updated with my new videos and thanks a lot